Ever wondered what the difference is between 2-wire, 3-wire, and 4-wire RTDs? For those who may not be familiar, RTDs, or resistance temperature detectors, are a type of temperature measurement device. They work on the principle that certain metals, such as platinum, increase their resistance as temperature rises. By passing a current through these metals and observing the resulting resistance, we can derive accurate temperature measurements. But here's where it gets interesting. Depending on the precision of reading you need, the number of wires connected to the RTD can vary. That's right, we have RTDs with two, three, or even four wires, each with their own distinct characteristics. Intriguing, isn't it? Well, hold on to that curiosity because we're about to delve into the details of these different RTD types, starting with the simplest one, the two-wire RTD. So, what exactly is a two-wire RTD, you may ask? Well, let's break it down. The two-wire resistance temperature detector, or RTD, is a simple yet clever device used for measuring temperature. As the name suggests, it employs two wires to connect the RTD sensor to your measuring instrument, which could be a digital multimeter or a specialized RTD reader. Here's how it works. A small current is passed through the RTD and the resulting voltage is measured. With the help of Ohm's law, which states that voltage equals current times resistance, we can calculate the resistance of the RTD. Once we know the resistance, we can determine the temperature of the RTD using its predefined resistance temperature relationship. This is a unique characteristic of the material used in the RTD, typically platinum, which increases its resistance with a rise in temperature. This two-wire setup is straightforward and easy to use. However, as is often the case, simplicity comes with a trade-off. In this case, it's the inclusion of lead wire resistance in our measurements. Imagine this. Each wire connecting the RTD to the instrument has its own resistance. If each wire has a resistance of half an ohm, when you measure the resistance of the RTD, you're also measuring an extra one ohm. This could lead to a discrepancy in your readings. If your RTD reads 101 ohms, the actual resistance might only be 100 ohms, with the extra one ohm coming from the lead wires. Why does this matter? Well, even a slight change in resistance in an RTD can correspond to a significant temperature change. So if you don't account for the lead wire resistance, your temperature reading can be off. For applications requiring high precision, a two-wire setup might not be the best choice due to this lead resistance issue. But for applications where slight inaccuracies are acceptable or where cost is a concern, a two-wire RTD can still be a good choice. While two-wire RTDs are simple and cost-effective, their accuracy can be compromised due to lead wire resistance. But there's a solution for this. Enter the three-wire RTD. How does a three-wire RTD improve upon the two-wire RTD, you may ask? Let's dive in. The clincher here is that the three-wire RTD brings an additional conductor into the mix. This RTD type still has two connection points, but we're dealing with three wires now. Let's call them A, B, and C for simplicity. Wires A and B connect to one end of the RTD while wire C attaches to the other end. So, how does this setup tackle the measurement process? First, the instrument measures the combined resistance of wire A, the RTD, and wire C. Next, it measures the resistance of wires B and C without the RTD's resistance, since wire A and B are directly connected at one end. The instrument then subtracts the second reading from the first. This effectively removes the resistance of the lead wires from the measurement, leaving only the RTD's resistance. Just as with the two-wire RTD, once we have the accurate resistance of the RTD, we can determine its temperature based on its predefined resistance-temperature relationship. This clever setup allows the three-wire RTD to overcome the lead wire resistance issue that plagues the two-wire RTD. But this isn't a perfect solution. For the three-wire setup to work effectively, Wires A, B, and C should have identical resistances. This requirement can make the design and implementation of a three-wire RTD a bit more complex, as any variation in the resistance of these wires can throw off the accuracy of the temperature reading. Nevertheless, the three-wire RTD provides a more accurate temperature reading by eliminating the effect of lead wire resistance, making it a popular choice in many applications that demand higher precision. So, we've seen how the three-wire RTD improves upon the two-wire RTD, but we're not stopping there. Three-wire RTDs provide a more accurate temperature reading by eliminating the effect of lead wire resistance. But there's one more type of RTD to consider. The four-wire RTD. Let's explore that next. 
Finally, let's talk about the most complex of the lot, four-wire RTDs. This type of sensor takes precision to another level. How? Well, it's all about eliminating inaccuracies and in the case of four-wire RTDs, they rule out any potential error caused by the resistance of the lead wires. When we talk about a four-wire RTD, we're referring to a configuration where two wires are connected to one end of the RTD and the other two are connected to the other end. It's like having two pairs of wires. This setup allows for a separate current path and a separate voltage measurement path, effectively eliminating the effect of lead wire resistance. Here's how it works. A small current is passed through one pair of wires. The voltage drop across the RTD is then measured through the second pair of wires. This gives us a very precise resistance measurement of the RTD, unaffected by the resistance of the lead wires. This precision makes four-wire RTDs ideal for applications where accuracy is paramount. They are used in industries like aerospace, scientific research, and any other field where even the slightest temperature variation matters. To summarize, four-wire RTDs may seem a tad complicated, but they offer the highest level of accuracy among RTDs. They go that extra mile to ensure temperature readings are as precise as they can be. With the highest accuracy, four-wire RTDs are the go-to choice for applications requiring precision temperature measurements. Let's sum up what we've learned about RTDs. Two-wire RTDs are simple and cost-effective, but they can be less accurate due to lead wire resistance. Three-wire RTDs add an extra wire to help compensate for this resistance, improving accuracy. But they require the wires to have identical resistances. Four-wire RTDs offer the highest accuracy by eliminating the resistance of the lead wires from the equation entirely. So, depending on the level of accuracy you need, and the resources at your disposal, you can choose the right type of RTD for your application. Thanks for watching.